Hey, it's Nicole Elliott with Studio Elliott Focus, where I talk to you about all things photography from a busy mother of four perspective. After being in the industry for 19 years, I've seen it and I've done it all, and I just want to share everything I know with you. So there's lots of videos that I put out there. Um, you should subscribe to my channel and just watch the rest of them because they're awesome. Just getting you in the right mindset, right frame of mind to just create something awesome, but also realizing your boundaries as a mom and as a woman and um, knowing how to do that thing that you're so passionate about best. So we have talked a lot about lately just focusing in on um, getting rid of those beliefs that keep you away from just achieving the ultimate goal. And um, we've talked about what it means to be successful and how that's not defined by the amount of money you make, but by the goals that you set and how many of those you accomplish. Um, can you hear that crazy? Yelling, crazy yelling upstairs. This is like me saying, girls, be quiet, I'm shooting a video. Give me like five minutes where you're just quiet. And do you think that can happen? No, it never happens. Why would I ever think that my house can be quiet? That's okay. It's okay, we can do this. So, I uh, last, a couple weeks ago I talked about what do you charge? I feel like that's, a I know she's having a horrible attitude. Tell her to be quiet and I'll be up in just a little bit. That's life, right? That's how we do life. Okay, focus. So I talked about um, what to charge. You know, I feel like that's the number one question I'm always asked, what do I charge? And we live in a time where everybody with a DSLR camera is a photographer, right? So might as well start a photography business. Um, so if you haven't watched that video, you should go back and watch it. It's pretty awesome and informative. But today I wanted to talk about starting a photography business and whether you should or not. So I'm going to say this and I really want you to listen here. Just because you love photography doesn't necessarily mean you need to start a photography business. This is like the pause that I'm giving for it to just soak into your head. Okay, just because you love photography doesn't mean you should start a photography business. Now, for some people, it does. If you are a business savvy person, if you in your mind have always, you've kind of, but even before you got into photography, you've thought about business, you've thought about the ins and outs of, of money, how to make money, how to advertise. Now it's all online. It's social media marketing. You know, if you've always kind of, thought about that that's always been a sort of a uh, welling fire kind of that just has always been inside of you then it might be something that you want to consider as a business because you've got that business aspect already inside of you but if this is something that you have kind of said I just really love this and everybody's asking me to take pictures of their seniors and their weddings and their dogs and I've just been doing it and I mean I feel like now I should just make money and just kind of like keep moving in that there's more to it than that so I've been in this industry long enough to see photographers that at one point had such an amazing passion they loved what they were doing they loved the creativity that comes from photography, really at the core of every photographer, there's passion. There is this insane drive to create something that is beyond your own self. It's, it's a drive that, that helps you to reach into the soul of that person or that subject and just capture them for that second. And then from there, you get to take that and be creative with how you edit that and how you create that and post and how your artistic expression comes out in that. And you just are alive. Your spirit is alive in every single process of that. Every single point in that process, you are just alive. That's passion. That's passion for photography right there. 
Okay, so that is kind of the underlying thing. Whether you're a business person or whether you just love photography, you really, you kind of, you both have that um, there. You have that passion for photography on both levels. Um, if you've got the business acumen already and you love photography, then it's just a natural fit, right? But if you don't really have business at all, but just love photography, then there's a lot you need to learn before you even start to think about starting a photography business. So I have seen many photographers just shoot and burn years and years and years later. I mean, I'm talking like 20 years later, they are still in the photography industry and hate it because somewhere along the line, they lost their passion for it. They became a slave to the client. They shot only what made money, only what their client wanted. And now at the end of the day, all they care about is the dollar sign and they're miserable. But they're like, this is how I make money. How do I quit this thing that I don't have any passion for anymore, but it makes me money. So I have to continue with it. You're, you're kind of just stuck in your own cage that you have built for yourself. And it's so sad. I have seen this. I've seen these photographers that burn out 20 years later, but don't quit. And I've seen photographers that burn out in a year and quit because they thought that they wanted a photography business, but really they just loved photography. They just had a passion for photography and really they should have stayed in that space. The photographers that I saw that just burned out were the ones that just lost who they were in the shuffle of creating this business. And so if you want to create a photography business, you have to understand where your heart is and what you're willing to invest into the business because I guarantee you it will be time away from your family. It will be time away from your children. It's going to be time educating yourself, elevating your knowledge so that now you have a marketable product. Not just be, it's not just I take pictures so I should be a photographer. That's not it. It's, I kind of like this thing. I'm going to spend a year, 12 months, just learning everything I need to know about business, about photography, about Photoshop, Lightroom, editing, online marketing, social media, all of that. And at the end of that time, you are not out a single thing if you have said to yourself, oh, Maybe I don't want to do this thing because I'm realizing all of the stuff that it requires because the tragedy would have been if you would have gotten into it from the very beginning and didn't put in any of that time and said, I'm just going to start this, this business here because I can just take pictures and I like it and people keep asking me to do pictures and I just think, why not make some money? And then you end up just hating what you're doing and you burn out a year or two years later and you just kind of become, people smudge you out of the photography world because you never really put the, you never had a solid foundation to stand on for, to build a business upon. That is the ultimate tragedy. Okay. So I'm being super honest here because I've just seen so many different, various ends of the spectrum. People that have just like done it really, really well and people that have done it really, really poorly. I, before I started my business, I spent years, I spent six years just learning the industry, going to workshops, learning from amazing mentors, um, really honing in on my, my craft and the artistry of photography, um, understanding how the business end of it work, end of it works by working with a very successful business photographer, business photographer that had an amazing business, business photographer. That's not really a thing. I just said that a photographer that had an amazing business. That's what I meant to say. Okay, which was huge. That was like invaluable for me for just spending time in that the presence of people that are doing it already and doing it the way you want to do it. Find a photographer that has been doing this for at least five, six years. Okay, and start to 
see them and hear them and feel them. And if they are passionate about what they're doing, then they're doing something right there. Um, so I just encourage you to learn the best you can. And I know you're thinking, what, a year? You're telling me I have to learn for a year before I go into actually starting a business? abso frickin lutely Oh my goodness. If you are not willing to invest just one year into the welfare of your life, of your future business and your family, because everything you invest this whole year is going to set the groundwork. It's going to make a solid foundation for you to be able to build something amazing upon. If your foundation is weak, it will crumble fast. If your foundation is strong and solid, you can build something amazing on top of a strong foundation. Take that year, build it, find photographers that you admire, learn as much as you can from them, um, learn about the online industry, how to have a strong online presence. In the photography world, if your online presence is weak, your business is weak. Because people are going to find you by the way you look online. If, if you don't look great, you can't charge great. You know, if you just look like crap, you're going to have to charge crap. I mean, that's just kind of how it is. Your, your reflection is, is in your online presence. So that's a huge part. Actually, that's usually where I tell people to start there is just really thinking about how your online presence is going to look. Um, get educated, start getting photo shoots under your belt. Um, yeah, I mean, there's so much that goes into that, but I just want to get that out there, like understanding where you're at and um, where you want to be and creating a solid foundation before you build a business. And again, just because you love photography doesn't mean you, you need to start a business. Stay in the passion of photography. Stay photographing your children. Stay photographing your family and the things that mean the most to you. Stay loving photography because a business can steal your passion very, very quick. But if you're all for business and you've got that drive inside of you anyway, then it's definitely something worth exploring. Okay, that's all I got. And this like rogue hair has been there, I think, the whole time. Annoying. Is that annoying? It's annoying. Anyway, I've got other videos. Watch the other videos. I want to encourage you, equip you, empower you, and I will give you as much as I can to do that. Comment, like, subscribe, email, all that. We'll see ya.